Do you play with magnets? Do you like to play with magnets? I've always liked to play with magnets. And one of the greatest things about magnets is that you can push on one magnet with another magnet without touching it. Do you remember the first time you held two magnets in your hand and turned them the right way and found they were pushing on each other without touching each other? Isn't that amazing? I'm still amazed by that. And as you can see, we can push things around without touching them. And that's what we have to do. We have to hold on to our atoms without touching them. Now, the great thing about our atoms is that they're like little tiny magnets. Let's go to the camera over here. So maybe if you've got enough magnets at home to play with, you might have tried to put some of the magnets on, uh, uh, on a table and, uh, and then try to make one of the other magnets float above the, uh, uh, the other magnets. Now, what I need to do is to get whatever's coming from that camera up onto the screen. Beautiful. OK, so what I've got here is a big magnet. And what I've got here is a little magnet. Now, this little magnet represents our, uh, our atom, OK? Uh, now, uh, if you ever tried this, uh, you maybe arranged a bunch of magnets on the table, and they're pushing up on the little magnet so as to try to make this little magnet float. And what will happen is, if I let go of this, it should just float there. So let's see what happens when I let go of it. It doesn't float. It flips over, and it gets attracted to the big magnet. And that's always what happens. It never works when you try to make one magnet float above another magnet, at least for ordinary magnets. But there's another thing you know about as a kid, and that is you know that if you spin a top, the top will not fall over. And it turns out that our atoms are indeed like little tiny spinning magnetic tops. And now with this spinning top, if I lift it to the right place, But, but, but wait, I think you all know that any two-bit magician can levitate a woman, pass a ring around her, carefully avoiding the wires that are holding her up. Uh, you've never seen uh, a magician do that. <laughs> there are no wires <laughs> holding anything up. OK, that was, let's go back to the PowerPoint now. That was the toy version of how, we, um, of how we trap atoms. Now let me show you the real thing. This is a cloud of cesium atoms about two millimeters across at a temperature of about a millionth of a degree above absolute zero. And it's been released into a magnetic trap similar to the one with the little toy top and it's bouncing around just like those, uh, like the top was, was moving around a little bit. And as time goes on, here's some new atoms. You see that, that the, uh, the cloud gets dimmer, and that's because the vacuum isn't perfect, and some of the atoms are getting knocked out of the trap. And since the time I made that movie, we've, uh, we've made our vacuum better, and we can hold our atoms for minutes now uh, in a magnetic trap.